What's poppin' everybody? This is Tiffany, aka Miss Beautiful. And today, as you can see by the title, will be a colorful Pride Month eyeshadow look. This was inspired by, I think, N N Niera J underscore on Instagram. It's about to do this look from her. But yeah, guys, if you're interested in seeing this Pride inspired colorful look, stay tuned. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wife. We are starting out with the ColourPop Snow Filter Concealer and I want to say 1055 or something like that. Real, real light shade so we can cover up all the discoloration on our eyes and so our colors can pop. And I'm just blending that out with a beauty sponge. This tutorial, well I wouldn't say tutorial, but this makeup look is a little longer because I'm showing you guys both eyes. Usually I'm just showing you one, so bear with me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Morphe 35B palette, and that's the palette we'll be using mostly today. And I'm going to go in with the yellow color here, and I'm putting that on the inner corner of my right eye, your left eye. <laughs> and I'm just packing that on. And packing, and packing. And I'm still packing it on, sis. And I'm carrying it a little further onto my eyelid. And then we're gonna go in with the orange. and put that in the middle of my lid and kind of blend that in with the yellow so it can look kind of like a seamless blend and not like two different colors on my eye, you know what I mean? I did end up turning my light down so you guys can see the colors a little better. And I'm going in with the red color and putting that on the outer portion of my eye and blending that into the orange. And I'm kind of feeling it so far, so yay. Then I'm going in with the green color and we're starting on my left eye and we're going to pretty much put the green where we put the yellow on the other eye. So we're going to start in the inner corner and kind of go onto our lid a little bit. All right, and then we're going in with the blue, like the sky blue, and putting that, I'm sorry, and putting that on our lid and kind of blending that in. It kind of like already kind of just blends in with the green, so you don't have to do much blending, but of course you still want to try to blend, you know what I mean? Okay. And then we're going in with the lighter purple in the 35B and we're putting that on the outer outer portion of our eye. And this one was a little it was a little hard to blend into the blue. Um but we got it after a while, you know what I mean? So yeah. Alright, so I'm really feeling that, like, really, really feeling this. But the blue and the purple just look so off to me. So I'm going back in with the blue color. So I'm going back in with the sky blue color and I'm going to blend that onto the purple to make it blend and it looks so much better. Thank you. 
All right, now I'm about to cut my crease using the same um, Tan 55 concealer. And yeah, I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm just gonna show you, pretty much I do the same, of course, cut crease to both sides, but I'm just showing you guys one eye. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do a full cut crease where I just wing it out at the end. So just watch. It's not perfect by no means, but. <laughs> So we got it somewhat decent looking <laughs> and we're going to go in. Well, what am I doing? So I'm just showing you guys that I cut the crease on both sides <clears throat> and we're going in with the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette and we're using the shade Giza or Giza and we're just patting that all over our cut crease. So we're going back in with the Morphe palette and I'm going to take the red and put that, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to show you guys like in a few seconds here. Um, so I'm pretty much putting that on the bottom portion of the cut crease to kind of give it that shaded effect. I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just taking the red. <clears throat> And then we're going back into the Morphe palette and using the purple and switching to the other eye and shading pretty much the bottom portion of our cut crease with the purple color. And I'm pretty much dragging it halfway into my lash line and then like pulling it up. So if that makes sense. So guys, I am really loving this look. Like, I was surprised it came out how it did, for real, for real. Cause I was a little iffy. <laughs> but it is coming out really, really good. And now we're about to put on face and lashes. Okay, girl, and she's here. And these lashes are my lashes for my lash brand called Whiplash. Go get you some, cause they popping, okay? <laughs> So we're going back into the Morphe palette and we're gonna use the red shadow again. And we're going on the lower lash line and just shading our lower lash line with the red. Then we're gonna go in with the purple shadow, the lighter purple shadow, and we're going to put that in our lower lash line. And we're also gonna go ahead and add some bottom mascara off camera. And when we come back, we're gonna be ready for our lip. And voila.
I was a little late, okay. So now first we're going in with the ColourPop's Limbo. This is an ultra matte lip, and I'm pretty much going to <clears throat> put that all over my lips. Can I just say, my cheekbones are chiseled, okay? <laughs> and then we're going in with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in the color Latte. And I'm just gonna fill that in. I'm gonna put, what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my lips. And the last but not least, we're going in with the ColourPop's Ultra Glossy Lip in WeHoo. Just to add the nice nude glossy finish. Because y'all know I love a glossy finish. And that is it, you guys. We're about to throw on some hair and some clothes. And I'll be right back. Okay. guys and here is the final look please excuse my lashes i <laughs> i was taking my pictures for instagram and i thought i was like done with everything and just ripped my lashes off and i was like oh my god i gotta do an intro and outro for youtube <sighs> so i just stuck them back on without even like putting them on really but yeah the glue is up here so they're sticking but they're not all the way on and they're not perfect so <laughs> Sorry about that, you know, I'm a little lazy. Um, and FYI, these lashes are from my lash brand. They're called Whiplash. So if you love them, like I love them, so now if you like them, be sure to go to my website. I'll have it linked in the description box below. So you can go and purchase some for yourself because, girl, these is real, real cute, okay? Real cute. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.